Question, why does Yahweh God's righteousness need to be transacted to us? Here is the answer, we need the righteousness of Yeshua Hamashiach, Jesus Christ, transacted to us because we have no righteousness of our own. By nature, we are sinners and incapable of making ourselves righteous or achieving right standing with God. We require the righteousness of Yeshua Hamashiach to be transacted to us, meaning His holiness before God is transferred to our account. In His Sermon on the Mount, Yeshua emphasizes the necessity of transacted righteousness. He declares, therefore, you must be perfect, as your heavenly Father is perfect, Matthew 5 verse 48. This statement follows Yeshua's correction of his listeners' understanding of the law. In Matthew 5 verse 20, Yeshua states that if his hearers want to enter the kingdom of heaven, their righteousness must surpass that of the Pharisees, who were considered experts in the knowledge of the law. Then, in Matthew 5 verses 21 to 47, Yeshua redefines obedience to the law, emphasizing both external and internal conformity. Six times in this passage, he says, You have heard that it was said, but I tell you. Yeshua distinguishes the actual requirements of the law from what the people had been taught. Following the law entails more than mere external actions such as refraining from murder or adultery, it includes not harboring anger or lust in one's heart. At the conclusion of this section, Yeshua instructs us to be perfect, verse 48. At this point, it becomes evident that we cannot attain perfection on our own. In another instance in Matthew's Gospel, Yeshua summarizes the law of God with two commandments, to love Yahweh God with all our heart, soul, mind, and strength, and to love our neighbor as ourselves, Matthew 22 verses 37 to 40. These commandments also condemn us, as no one has ever loved Yahweh with absolute devotion or loved their neighbor as themselves. Every action, word, and thought should originate from love for God and others, yet we have never achieved such spiritual heights. We are not righteous. Sin affects us at the core of our being, and no matter how hard we strive, we will never meet God's standard of perfection independently. The Bible describes all our righteous deeds as a polluted garment, Isaiah 64 verse 6. Our own attempts at goodness fall short. Hence, we need transacted righteousness, and for that, we turn to Yeshua Hamashiach. On the cross, Yeshua assumed our sins and purchased our salvation. We have been justified by His blood, Romans 5 verse 9, and part of that justification involves the transaction of His own righteousness. Paul explains it as follows, For our sake, Yahweh God made Yeshua Hamashiach to be sin who knew no sin, so that in him we might become the righteousness of God, 2 Corinthians 5 verse 21. Yeshua is intrinsically righteous as the Son of God. Through God's grace, by having faith in Yeshua Hamashiach, his righteousness is transacted to all who believe, Romans 3 verse 22. This is transacted righteousness, the imputation of Yeshua's righteousness to sinners. Having Yeshua Hamashiach's righteousness transacted to us does not mean we automatically act rightly that comes through the process of sanctification. However, it means we are positionally righteous. Even though we continue to sin, we are declared legally righteous before God. God has transferred the righteousness of Yeshua Hamashiach to our spiritual account, and He accomplished this when He saved us. By grace, the holiness of Yeshua Hamashiach is attributed to us. Yeshua has become for us wisdom from God, that is, our righteousness, holiness, and redemption, 1 Corinthians 1 verse 30. Through the transacted righteousness of Yeshua Hamashiach, we can be viewed as sinless, just as Yeshua is sinless. This is an astounding display of grace. We are not righteous in ourselves, rather, we possess the righteousness of Yeshua applied to our account. God perceives the perfection of Yeshua when He welcomes us into fellowship with Himself. While we still commit sins in practice, the grace of God has declared us righteous according to the law. A powerful illustration of Yeshua's transacted righteousness is found in his parable of the wedding banquet. Guests are invited to the king's celebration from every street corner, and they are brought in, both bad and good, Matthew 22 verse 10. All the guests share a commonality, each receives a wedding garment. They are not permitted to wear their ordinary clothes inside the banquet hall, instead, they are clothed in the garment provided by the king. They are covered by a gracious gift. Similarly, as guests invited into God's presence, we have been bestowed with the pure white robe of Yeshua Hamashiach's righteousness. We receive this gift of God's grace through faith. 
Therefore, I encourage you to stream the single titled transaction on all streaming platforms. By doing so, you are not only supporting the artist and enjoying great music but also spreading the message of transacted righteousness through Yeshua Hamashiach, Jesus Christ. Let the lyrics and melody remind you of the amazing grace and righteousness that has been transacted to us through our Savior. So, tune in, embrace the spiritual journey, and let the uplifting sounds of transaction resonate in your heart and soul. Stream it now on all major streaming platforms and join in sharing the transformative message with others.